Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video where I show you how to make a Z-axis stop clamp for your tag lathe carriage. This will include three mill setups on our X2 mini mill. We'll use a magnetic base for our y-axis indicator. We'll use another magnetic base for our x-axis indicator. We'll lock the spindle to tighten the drawbar. We'll use the edge finder to find the edge of our x-axis. We'll zero our x-axis indicator. Then we will move our x-axis 100 thou to put the spindle center on the edge of the part. We'll edge find our y-axis. We'll zero our y-axis indicator. Then we'll move our y-axis 100 thou to put the spindle center on the edge of the part. We'll use a number 43 drill for the threaded holes. We'll use a 1 8 drill for our clearance holes. We'll 
We'll use a 730 seconds end mill for our counter bars. We'll move to the other side and repeat the process. We'll use a 440 bottoming tap to tap our two holes. We will begin our next setup with a 3 8 wide slot. We'll use an edge finder to find our y-axis zero, then zero out our y-axis indicator. We will move our y-axis a hundred thou to put the spindle center on the edge of the part. We'll use a quarter inch end mill to mill our relief for the dovetail cutter. We'll use a 3 8 dovetail cutter to cut our two dovetails.
This cut should have been a climb cut, and I should have started from the opposite face. We'll use a 1 8 end mill to mill our slot. We'll mill our clearance on the face of the part. Here I did two passes on the first cut. The y-axis indicator is no longer needed in this setup. We will make the rest of the passes at the full depth of cut. In our last setup, we will drill and tap two 1032 holes. We'll use an edge finder to find our Y0. We'll zero our Y axis indicator. We will move 100 thou to the Y0 edge and then move to our feature location. We'll do the same process for the x-axis.
We'll use a number 21 drill for the 1032 threads. We'll use a 1032 bottoming tab for the threads. Here we'll need to remove the burrs on the carriage with a file. We will assemble our clamp with two 440 socket head cap screws. We'll finish by assembling the clamp on the tag lathe carriage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to leave comments.